Hello, Malcolm. Hello, everyone else. Welcome back to Avorion. Today we are going to, since we have all eight artifacts, we're going to pop into my shipyard galaxy, which is uh, Sandbox Galaxy. It does have collision damage on it. Probably should have turned that off. Make things a little easier. But I thought we'd just design ourselves a little ship to put the mods in to open the gate. Hoo-hoo, I don't know what'll happen. I think there's some sort of boss fight, so I hope these little ships don't get, like, instantly destroyed and I have to do every quest over again or something. I don't even know how to switch from ship to ship. I'm not sure how I'm going to accomplish all this. I actually have no idea. When I use the... when I try to scroll out to RTS mode, nothing happens. I'll show you. I'll scroll out and it will not enter RTS mode. It'll just scroll out until my ship's invisible. It's supposed to enter RTS mode at 5 kilometers. I just checked. That's what it says on the official Avorion wiki. Um, I'm not too sure how this opening works. I just know I'm supposed to park the ships at their respective stations in one of those special sectors. So that's what I'll do. But we'll design the ship in here so we don't have to stress about various occurrences. Um, I wonder if the save file got corrupted on this. I forgot how old Shipyard of Reptor is. Yeah, I guess that's dead. Um, understand. So let's go single player. Let's delete Shipyard of Reptor. Audi. And let's load Snoopoverse and make sure Snoopoverse is working. Uh, I'll be really bummed if I just blew up Snoopoverse because we just did a lot of work in there and I was having a lot of fun doing it too. So if Snoopoverse is working, we'll create another sandbox galaxy and go build our ship. Oh, please don't be broken, you rotten thing. Oh no, oh good. Good, and we're no Oh yeah! I painted the ship a rather jolly green. It's called Solar Green. Uh, it looks like I've got some red left. Build mode. Yeah, I can see that red. I can see that red. We won't even fix our size thingy. We'll just get our Solar Green. Bing! See, the colors always look a little brighter than they really are. And we'll paint blocks, and yeah, we just got some red showing. I think that's about it, though. I went over her with a... Oh, there's some red. I was going to say I went over with a fine tooth comb, but it wasn't a fine enough tooth comb, obviously. But I did go over with a fine tooth comb and get it all greened up. And it pretty? And it goes quite well with the blue of the thrusters and drives. And I blued up the headlight a little bit. I made it uh, quite a shade bluer. So it would kind of match up. I love it. I think it looks great. Okay, we're going to get out of here. And we're going to get out of Snoopiverse. We'll just give it a second there. Okay. Well, we'll get out of Snoopiverse. Just glad it works. Doop. That's the problem with the beta branch. But I like new changes when they come. So what are you going to do? Um, so single player. Create new. Name default galaxy. Let's turn off collision damage. None. Difficulty. Beginner. Sure. So that's what we're going to do with it. And we'll just use their seed. Oh, look, it generates them differently now. So Snoopiverse is actually generated with the old seed system. Oh, I hope that doesn't become a problem. Well, you know, if it does, uh, I guess I'm just going to grind the whole damn game again. Yeesh. Oh, well, I know what to do for most of the missions. So it's... What the schnippins? So this is where you start when you start a new game. Eh? You start on this neat looking special pad on the side of a friendly station, resource depot. And uh, I forgot to give us infinite resources. I'm an idiot. I thought you could do us okay. Leave options. No, that's not going to be possible. We're just going to leave. I think I did something wrong, so I'm going to go ahead, go in there, delete that default galaxy out, create new creative mode on, and collision damage none, 
difficulty easy that way we won't get bothered by pirates and we'll just change up the seed there well that's what we'll do um, and I'll change the name to shipyard shipyard oh I see it's still the same seed system it's just uh, now it's seed and name separated so it's probably pretty easy to make it work with the old one okay let's try that again get in here we're just gonna make a really simple ship um, but I'm gonna give it some functionality we have the resources to build them it's not gonna be big but we're gonna give it some functionality just in case oh but you know it's gonna need bloody crew isn't it it's gonna need crew it'll need at least a few engineers that's a disappointment yeah cuz they just decay if they don't have engineers on board they basically slowly fall apart understandable enough um boy that's a long load screen this whole episode could turn out to be a bust all I want to do is design a ship but maybe I should just be going straight to a wormhole sector and building a mini ship in game oh wow okay here we are on this station now we're in creative mode so oh that is pretty cool oh that is pretty cool mine asteroids to gather resources yep man that is really cool okay let's get ourselves a little open space light that drone up and get her out into some space don't plow it into a rock this early on in the game although you just restart as a drone when that happens so boy is that sad when you've built a nice ship eh and restart as a drone it's probably enough room to build what we want. We'll just get a little bit more room. And we're on beginner difficulty, so probably no one's going to come blow us up. Besides, unarmed ships aren't attacked uh, as much, or I don't think they might. They might even not be attacked. So anyway, does this thing have a ship menu? It does. Can I do anything to this thing? Can I modify the drone? Nope. Nope. So we will found a ship. Uh, enter the name of your ship. Um, e er, uh, I think I can get a new name when I do it again, but let's just make a cool name just in case. Let's call it Thorax 1. There we go. Alliance ship. I don't even know what that means. I don't know how to do that. Okay, Thorax 1 is here. So, now we go to build mode. And we'll just do a fairly quick piece of trashy hash work on her. Um, will we bump down our sizes? For now. Uh, yeah, we might as well, well. Although I could just make it blocky. But anyway. Uh, we're going to switch match block on. That's what we wanteth. And we're going to go get some parts out and we have unlimited resources for everything. We're gonna go with a Zanyan engine. We're gonna make this a really simple ship. Uh, Duke. So, that should give her probably loads of thrust actually. And yeah, we don't want to require a bunch of engineers. Yeah, mechanics rather. Oh, they're gonna need crew. Maybe we can just let them deteriorate. We'll see how that works out. Right, because once we get in, we can get a Vorion and then we can jump rift, so... Let them deteriorate. But we want a little bit of maneuverability. And we'll get a Zanyan shield generator right here. We'll just give it a small amount of shield protection. Like so. And we'll get a generator. give it a small amount of power hopefully enough let's see uh, power yeah we're okay for now she has power we'll give her a couple of thrusters we'll just keep using Zanyan it's just a really basic ship this is what you build when you start pair of thrusters we're still good on power <coughs> I guess she'll need a crew compartment um, that annoys me. I don't want to build a crew compartment. We're going to switch to Nanite now. Uh, crew compartment right there. So we are going to have to grab a few crew for these things. 
and transfer crew to them with the mega ship? That's annoying. How many crew will that hold? Eight. How many crew do we need? Three. That's looking good. Um, is this thing actually now a maneuverable shielded vessel? Let's take a look at it. Let's go to its systems. Uh, it has two slots. Perfect. That's all we need. Uh, let's see. Thrust and max velocity are pretty terrible. Brake thrust is actually better than total thrust. That's probably a good thing. Hull, shield, whatever. It's gonna live. Let's take it out for a spin. Okay, it's going 58 pitiful meters a second. It is one slow little ship. It's very maneuverable. Really nice. Let's light it up. So what do we got? We got lots of generator power on tap. We can do 200 meters a second on full thrust. How fast do we slow down? Pretty decent brakes. Alright, I like it. I like it. We're going to give it a little bit of armor plating. It's already losing uh, hit points, eh? Hey? I'm going to give it a sketchy bit of armor plating. So let's get some titanium armor out. I hate wasting titanium, frankly. Um, because we need it to repair our own ship. But this isn't going to cost much, so let's find that armor. Titanium armor, and we'll bring it down to that thickness, and we'll match block with it on those flat type surfaces. Just give the thing a little bit of resistance to bumps and bangs, eh? Because it's going to get bumps and bangs. Okay, now we've got to do the other directions, so... We'll just guess and gosh it. Uh, why won't it build that for us? I am unhappy. Build my armor. Okay, I can make it that thick. That's good. It's pretty heavy armor for a ship this size. Put that on the nose. Put that back here. Put that back here. And I think that's that set of flat surfaces. Oh no. Oh yeah, no, that is that set of flat surfaces, so now we'll shrink it down this way and put it like that, good enough. Bang it on here, get it all on these flat surfaces. Just a little stump built to hold our thingy, and yeah, we'll have to transfer crew to them. What if I should just hire captains for all of them? Uh, that might actually just solve our problem right up, eh, if I just hired captains for all these ships. View screen nav only. Thrust is just dreadful. Wow. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, yaw is super good and pitch is terrible. Oh, because of the long engine. So, in fact, I should stick a thruster on the nose. So, let's do that. Um, so, we'll remove that bit of armor and we'll go get a thruster. And we can use Zanion again. Grab a thruster. I'm not going to use directional thrusters. I'm going to shrink that thruster a bit because I don't want it to look yuck. Should I mount it on armor? Or should I just stick a thruster on? Okay, what do we got now? 4 and 2.28. Yeah, she's a little slow in the pitch, actually. Hold on, let's just see if we can just... Uh, no, let's take that bad thing off. And let's see if we can somehow fix that up. So let's get out another Zanyan thruster. Or actually, let's try some directional thrusters for now. And we'll rotate that so it's facing that way. And we've got match block on, so what we want to match is that armor block. And have the thruster be yay tall. Uh, cannot build overlaps too much. Really? Oh, really? That seems cruel. That seems cruel. I'll have to just switch match block off. Oh, that shield, though. Oh, no, I can't center it without match block. Not for a quick build like this. I'm not going to sit and fool around with it. So, it won't let me till there. That's not a lot of use. So, we're going to match block to this block instead, I guess. How are we going to do this? It doesn't like anything I want to do. Okay, looks like we cannot put thrusters there. There's no point to putting them there. Could put them out here. That's not such a bad. Now that'll just amplify roll. All right, we'll try directionals on the nose. 
to about the same tune of size as we had before. Oh, I can watch the stats here. Oh, the, it's worse. Oh, no, I have to put it on first. Oh, so we gained 2.86. Oh, yeah, the directionals certainly provide more. Let's pop it in. 444. I love it. Let's finish armoring that up. That is awesome. 444. This thing handles a lot better than my ship does. <laughs> but then it's a little ship. And that's the way with little ships is they got that handling that you miss so much when you have the bigger ship. Let's not get that too wildly thick. It'll just kill our performance out. But we want her pretty sturdy, don't we? Yeah, I think we do. Oh, well. Oh, well. Scroll in a bit here. Yeah, match that up. Looking good. Looking good. Match that up. No, not looking good, Dell. How come the other one matched? What's the deal with that, anyway? I'm gonna go look again. That looks good. No, that's not good. Dale. Uh, I'm gonna have to get in close here. There. Bang. So the other one worked, so that's cool. Uh, any holes in our clever armor plating? We could up her engine, but I think I'm done with her. She needs four crew. She has room for eight. And let's take her out for a spin. And now she just handles like a dream. Oh my god. This little toaster handles good. That's a fast little ship. Sure and bigora. Sure and bigora. All right. It says it's auto-saved, but let's go ahead and save it anyway, so... Ooh, so many ships, and a lot of them are no longer useful. Oh, man, what the hell? That's a lot of XML files. Save ship. Good. Bam. Alright. She's done. So, that's pr that actually was way quicker than I thought it was going to be. And the next step will be to crew them. So we need eight of these ships. And let's just check the ship menu. They need two engineers and two mechanics. We don't need to hire pros. We can hire straight up people. So we need 16 straight up people. No. That's not right. Four by eight is 32. We need 32 straight up crew. Well, I am pretty sure that the Lord Reptorion, as I ludicrously titled my ship, has room for 32 civvies on board that can be transferred to the new ships when they uh, when they get put in place. So I'll build them with the drone, I guess. We'll leave the auto defenses on, sort of thing. So let's switch off all our guns, put our guns to auto fire. And we'll just see if we can find somewhere friendly to hire some crew. Oh, look, somewhere friendly to hire some crew. What do they got? Uh, hire crew? Well, they've got uh, 111 civilians. That's all we need. Let's see what else they've got. Like, maybe they got some good mining fighters. Plasma? No. Too bad. I'd love to get a mining fighter at that level. I've just got my eyes out. Any special upgrades? Uh, nothing we're really, like, dying for. We're not really buying stuff right now, because we're trying to build up money. We're, what, 88 million again, and it's just hovering. All right, we better hustle over there and hire those men. Since we need 32, I'll hire 33. They can go on the payroll, eat our sandwiches. We do have that much room on board, don't we? Let's just check. Uh, right. You don't get a correct reading on crew quarters here. You have to go to build mode. So, crew 1879 out of 2021. Wow. Holy smokes. We do have room, but it's a near thing. I mean, I could always fire some security men, and I could always fire a couple of miners. But the new turrets require more crew, so I stocked in extra miners and gunners to get trained up for new turrets. Because they're six crew each. So if we end up with six, um, six crew, civilian turrets will need 36 miners. So let's go to our crew. And uh, they are, 
worth 72.5 in their current state, so not really a worry. I could fire some, but anyway, let's go hire our... I got it right, right? Eight ships, four crew each. That's 32 crew. Pretty sure that's right. I should know. I grew up with an Apple II Plus. Those are the numbers. The magic numbers of the 8-bit processing system. Okay. In we come to the dock. Nice. The ship is nice to drive. But man, the numbers are nothing like that little ships. Hi, our crew. And we're going to take aboard... 33 civilians. Hello. So we'll have one supercargo over afterwards. Uh, should we do a big sales? I kind of want to do my research first in case I screw up. Let's see if this military outpost has a good mission. Hello, Wipo Pirates. Accept. Lovely. We like that. Oops, I switched to map a little violently there. Okay, they're right here. We'll be bopping over to see them. Nice. So we got our 33 crewmen and we have ourselves a mission. Our guns are set to auto fire, so let's take the gunners off their coffee break and head into combat with our big pretty green ship. Here we go. Oh, it's a rock pile. I found the best tactic with rock pile pirates is to look for the ones that are in clear space and if there's one that's in a good direction, which I'm just looking for. Yeah, see, I don't want to fight this close to these rocks. So I want to make them do the walking. So that's the best position guy. We're actually going to leave that behind and let those other ones come towards us. We're not going to hit that booster too hard in case I miss a rock in this uneven lighting. I'm not perfect at it. Oh, snap, we're going a bit fast for this. All right. Time to open up with the old gunsies. Yes, sir. Blasty, blasty. And... Virtually nothing to pick up, although who knows, that might be the next color paint we use. We'll grab it. What color is it? We got solar spring green. Nice. And deep pink. Nice. I guess. I haven't painted it pink yet. I tried out some of the different pinks on it, and... They seemed a bit off. So, having trouble locating nearest pirate. There we go. And I'm hoping those guys have some good thrust in their damn boosters, because I don't want to have to go pick them all out of the rocks. It's dangerous. It's worth the half a million credits, but it's dangerous. And he didn't spawn off much of any use either. But I don't think we're quite that close to the core. Actually, after we take out this ship, I'll check, because those guys will be a minute getting here. Let's see how close to the core we really are. Finish him up. I don't want to get any closer to the rocks, man. I do not like playing rocks. He left a rare? He left two rares, so I am going to get close to the rocks. Try and duck that bit of rubble. I did not duck that bit of rubble. I think we're okay. We didn't break anything off this time. We are getting lasered in the engine. He's targeted our engine system and is lasering it. Oh, well, we're gonna uh, smash him with a hail of massive bullets and hot chunks of plasma. Oh, he had a subsequent subsidiary explosion of some kind. Unfortunate for any survivors on board. And this one's a little too close for comfort too. He left us nothing. These are some cheap pirates. Hey, look, a rare. Look at that. Grab that. Every time I see an explosion against the hull, I'm like, oh no, did I hit something? It is so dangerous with collision damage at full, but that's the way the game ought to be played. Here come some more lasers. They look nice, but if they get in the wrong place in your viewer, they're uh, really blinding. Which is cool. They are lasers. We've got some nice stuff here. It's all, it's all good. It's grist for the mill. Okay, this guy's real close. And he's making all that bright lasers in this. And so is he making a whole bunch of bright lasers in this. And this guy's really close. I think they found us. I think our strategy worked and the majority of the pirates have come over to meet us here. That's just what we sort of wanted, although we're getting a real wreckage field to wander through 
doing our pickup work here. Man, they are just all over us. Scrolling a little. However, our ship does some good fighting on its own, eh? Oh, no problem. Could not see. Too close to wreckage. We are in a bit of a tight fix here. I hardly dare move not knowing where these characters are. Look at that. The teleporting thing just happened again. Pirates are attacking the sector. Well, if I was smart, I'd go rub out those new pirates and get the 50,000 or 100,000 credits off these guys that I'd get for them. But I actually feel like I'm pretty hotly engaged here. and uh, We'll take care of those other pirates separately, even though we won't get a bonus for them. Gee, that guy's a little tougher. Uh, they're not standing up to us. Come on, gun them, boys. I don't feel like I've got my full front guns engaged for some reason. There, now it feels like the full front guns. Wow. That was nuts. I'm gonna go get these nice things here. Might as well. Oh, I think I just eliminated him. I was gonna say I could run off and exterminate the other pirates. Actually, there must be one left, because we haven't gotten our... Oh dear, don't break the ship. Um, we haven't gotten our reward money yet, so there must actually be one left. Look at all this wreckage. Kind of mineable, really. Kind of mineable. Uh, we're not going to go run up for the money, but we're definitely going after the upgrades. We need to stack these to get cash. And hopefully to breed an MTCS 6. We kind of need one more MTCS 6. Because if I get that, I can switch one of my ATCS 5s out for it. And then I can switch my other ATCS 5 out for my CTCS 6. And then I'll have the same number of military turrets, 32. And instead of only having four civilian turrets available, I'll have six, which will much improve our uh, wreckage harvesting. Especially because a couple of our lasers are energy drinkers, so we actually get kind of limited harvest time out of them. I'm going to grab that because it's TI and I really want some TI. I like it. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I think someone's firing on us. I don't know which pirates are which, so we're just going to take them out. Man, guns on again. And three kilometers, we should be able to hit them with pretty much everything. You just have to kind of lead the target a little. When they're moving, you have to kind of slightly lead. He's at three, and that one auto gun that's mounted high there has a really good range. It engages stuff out at, like, way kilometers. I've seen it firing at stuff that's at nine kilometers. Uh, it doesn't seem to hit anything till it's quite a bit closer, but it'll open up. Okay, that's the main pirates taken care of. Uh, what did they drop? A couple of nice things. We got ourselves an exceptional and a rare, so that's good. And it's mostly about the money, because I'm not going to gain that many turrets from my amazing plans. I've got enough turrets. We're fine. We can fight and we can harvest. I just, I'd like to improve them a lot. I've almost given up on improving my uh, scanner systems. I don't think it's going to be necessary. The hyperdrive I will keep breeding for better improvements continuously till I have two legendaries in. Oh, it's some of this wreckage that doesn't register properly. It'll probably start teleporting in a second. I think I'll leave. Now, did we miss anything? Did we miss anything? I don't think we missed any actual upgrades. So let's chow down a chunk of uh, wreckage just for the taste. Just for the taste. Get a little nanite. Get a little of everything. Look, we pulled out a good upgrade. That's what you gotta love. This game, it's called Avorion, and it sounds a bit like Avarice. And it's true, it makes you greedy for stuff. It's It gives you those little uh, thalamic stimulus response rewards or whatever. You blast some wreckage, you get some pretty explosions, which gratifies you to start with and then something joyous that you've been looking for pops out or something that you're not looking for pops out and you're like oh next time I'll get you. It's a very well designed gameplay that way. It really encourages the grinding through the kind of reward system to it both graphically and mentally. I 
you know, I really like this game. It's it's a really well designed little game. It invites really endless hours of gameplay. Really endless hours of gameplay. You don't get tired of it. I mean, I might in the end. But I find I'm pretty happy to put in long hours at this game. Alright, we better find something more exciting to do, although that asteroid also looks tasty. So, we'll lay in a course for somewhere. Those pirates? No, it's the Hodios. I'm trying to make them like me more. But we do want to head in, so let's go to this unknown energy signature. No, it's probably the Hodios. Let's go to this. I thought I just saw a hidden mass there. Seriously? I swear I just saw a hidden mass right here. Yeah. Whoa, hang on. Let's wait for it to light up again. And make sure I get the right sector. Got right there, and it doesn't register. Oh, yes, it does. I'm a fool. Anyway, that's where we're going. And we'll just take a look at this asteroid and see if we can't sneak in there without bashing the ship up. So that'd be nice to get that bit of extra money on top, eh? Is there any really good way in? It looks like sort of up here is the good way in. It looks a little tight. It looks pretty dangerous, actually. Maybe I chose the wrong route. Maybe over this way would be better. Wow, watch out. There's rocks that you can hardly see, eh? You know, this one, I think it's a little too... I think it's a little too tough. We're just going to move out. Oops, I've still got my harvesting lasers on. Switch those off. Oh, look, I just saw a really nice upgrade that we totally missed. What a downer. That sucks. Okay, there is nothing here. Nothing at all. So we'll go for another sector. Hmm, are we going to get choke pointed before we get to the... Oh, I see. We're way outside the core right now. Yeah, we need to get around all this muck. What happens if we jump here? Nothing, because there's bloody well nothing there. We don't really want to do an empty sector jump, so... Let's do another unknown hidden mass. We'll just keep picking our way across the galaxy with the unknown hidden mass signatures. That's why I really like having this radar mod set up the way it is. I mean, I'd like to have the scanner mod upgraded. I'm breeding exotic scanners. We're going to get a legendary. But, uh... <laughs> I don't have room to put in any other upgrades unless I find a hyperspace mod that's insane. But I think these are getting close to the maximum numbers you're ever going to get in one anyway, so I'm not taking them out. And we're, of course we're going to keep breeding for a legendary shield mod too, because our shield mod is good, but I know it could have higher percentages. It's in because it has the 25% recharge. Hey, I think something had followed us into the last system. This is a smuggler's den of vice. Most disappointing. That's a shame. Something had followed us, eh? And we could have had a fight with it. Except I jumped out right when it jumped in. Most disappointing. Unknown hidden mass signature. Here we come. So we don't want to mess with Batan's people. And if we go anywhere near there, our auto gun will open up. It's a secret stash here. Um, that looks impossible. That's the only valuable item located in system. So, yeah, I don't think so. Let's just examine the pretty green ship. She does look good in green. Some of that stone looks green and some of it kind of stayed red. Did it get painted? Let's, we got 20 seconds. Let's just grab our solar green out. I swear it got painted. But I'm not perfect, so we'll just grab our solar green out blocks and we'll make sure those are painted solar green they are they are they're just being weird because look this avorion stone went green that avorion stone went green that didn't get painted it's embarrassing you know it looks like some of this stuff might not have got painted no it got painted it's weird some's refusing to turn green so we'll do our best with it Nah, it's a shame that it won't turn green for us. Because some of it does turn green real nice and swiggly. Yeah, those ones did. They're looking pretty good. Okay, that's our 20 seconds used up. 
Our ship's plan was autosave. That's encouraging news. Let us depart and hope we get into some trouble. No, but we found a wormhole. Let's see where that goes. Ooh, it goes way over here. Wow, that's a long one. And we've been around there. It's not like we've fully explored it. And we need to keep building relations with people, so we could bop into that wormhole. Wait a second, I've lost our position. Are we? Or we could just keep exploring. I, I vote keep exploring. What's the best way down to the core? We don't want to get sucked into that mess of uh, rifts again. So that just blocks us up. So let's check for hidden mass signatures. Uh, that's unknown energy. Oh, we're probably into friendly territory. So let's actually go to an unknown energy um, that's fairly deep if we can find one. Is this the deepest? One more radar pulse and we'll see. Uh, something seems to be on the way. So that's about the deepest. We'll go to that one. And it's short bursts of subspace signals. So they'll be here. They'll be here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we don't want to be in a friendly when the aliens show. So let's re-switch to an unknown hidden mass and go there. Won't take that long to calculate. It's not that far away. And at least we've got that wormhole mapped now. It's a nice pile of rocks. It's kind of got a pretty shape to it. I don't like rocks. Well, I do. You know, the game is beautiful. And when you're when you're starting out, you like rocks. Because it's like, oh, look, that one has titanium in it. Oh, my God, got a mine. Not to calculate it. There we go. Kind of had a feeling it was coming about then. You get used to it. Oh, look, a bunch of dudes. All right, well, that makes a perfect... Who are they? They're pirates. Oh, and they've got some uh, larger ships here. That's a corvette, a cruiser, frigate, corvette. I'm hoping there's some destroyers or treadnoughts out here, eh? Well, it looks like that guy might be closest in the cruiser there, so... Let's take him on. Give him our best possible roasting. Oh, yeah, he's strong. Yeah, when these guys cluster around me, they may take a few notches out of the shield. Look how much power it takes to take that dude out. Like, we've turned his ship into a star. Finally went. Beast, man, beast. Looks like he uh, kind of dropped a lot of stuff when he died. <laughs> Just going to have to run around and swiggle that up. That looks wimpy. Let's blow it up. No, it's too far away. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? We got rocks. They're a little too close. Let's move a little ways away from the rocks. Let's let our tail gunner handle his business there. Pretty cool. And yeah, let's start with this guy. I don't want to get into a whole maze of wreckage in a pile of rocks. So This would be a grab-and-go battle. We're not going to do any mining afterwards. In fact, I think we'll map a route out to friendly territory right now while our autos peg off some fire. We'll end the episode in friendly territory or we'll just go like way out here. Let's just... is there nothing? It's completely uninhabited. Alright, well we'll probably end the episode in an empty sector then because we're heading for the core. And uh, yeah, we got ships all up in our business right now because I wasn't doing my work. That's a destroyer. That's really strong. Um, he doesn't have much firepower looking at his rating. You can't see it, my face is in the way, but he's got 164.4 Omicron. Still, 10 of him have more firepower than me. And I think there kind of are 10 of him right now, to tell you the honest. And that guy is taking a severe pounding. I could move in and use the uh, harvesting lasers on him, frankly. Let's just engage them. Like, sounds like these side guns took something out. Okay, yeah, hit them with the harvesters right there. Oh, yeah, that's giving him a ronk. Yeah, he's tough. Let's get those harvesters in. Uh, his turning's so dangerous to me, though. So getting into harvester range has its downfalls with him. Alright, harvester's off. Man, he just won't die. 
mean, our autos are all busy, so we don't have every single gun in the business working on him. And he is rotating, which makes it difficult, but I'm just shocked at the level of strength this guy has. Okay, the aliens showed. I feel like that's a bit of a ripoff. Okay, he's dropped money, and we're going to go get it. I hope there isn't any wreckage in my way. I can't see doodly right now. It's just rather bright with various fire and shielding. Wow, what a mess. Let's go take out the aliens. They're stealing our pirates. Oh, let's go get those upgrades. Wow, avoid that ship. It's nice. Upgrades. Look at them. We don't want these guys to get them. Okay, hit the brakes, man. Let's get it. Yeah, okay. We went through. We got it. We didn't pick up that money, oddly enough. We thought we would. Okay, you are very close to us. Well, maybe we should go take out those damn aliens. It'll break up this pack some. Let's go find them. Where are they? We'll just move out, because this pack's getting really dense. Where's the dang aliens? Oh, they're way over here, eh? Alright, we're going to motivate over this way. And get up high above the rocks. Yeah, there's a shipyard here. And uh, yeah, our tail gunner's still doing work. So these guys are all at about the same range. Ah, oh, come on, I can't lock him. I don't know if that's my mouse. So I got a new mouse to replace my one that failed. I don't think it's the mouse. I think the game just refused to lock him for a minute. Damn. Okay, get that guy done. Get these Zotan out of the damn way. Um, they're stealing my pirates. They're stealing my pirates. These are my pirates. God, I love that hammering sound of the guns. I don't know how much it comes through in the video. It kind of depends where I put the settings. Okay, well now we're in a rock pile, which is not where I wanted to fight. But we can we can work this. We can work this. Does aliens leave anything else good? I can't even tell. Ah, get up here. Get up here. Get out of the way here. Yeah. Let's get some space room for this combat. Okay, we got some space room. I don't think the aliens left anything else worth having. So, where's all the pirates? Oh, here they come. Hi. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. Oh, that one's close. We better attack it. It's a destroyer. We're going to move upwards to approach it so that we don't get caught down in that swarm too bad. Damn, these destroyers are tough, though. They really are. Oh, well, these guys haven't even dented our shields. So, that's good. At least they're not sporting a bunch of railguns. I don't know how good our thin little armor is against railguns. I think I put thicker armor on the mini ship. I think I put thicker armor on the mini ship. Man, these things are tough. Okay, we're coming into harvest laser range, so I'm putting them on. And I'm going to try to hit them up with them. I'm going to go for this thick area here. Yeah, okay, we're in range. That should do some damage. Those things are beast. One of them does 733 damage. They do kind of use energy, but that's okay. We'll switch them off again. I don't know what that noise was. I think my dog just made some kind of weird noise. Really don't know what. I want all that stuff and money. Look at it all. Ah, we got that. Good. That's what I was really after. Now this guy is in a perfect position for us to be firing upon him. Man, this is a big fight. But our ship is just eating it up. I think we're really not deep enough into the galaxy to get challenged. I think this ship is approaching core ready. I crank the mods up a little further and get some better guns. I keep hearing some noise. Is my dog having a dream or something? really don't know what I'm hearing. I've got headphones on. And there's all these combat noises going on. It's another destroyer. Okay, his shield's off. We're going straight to harvesting on him. Because we're going to... Oh, we're going to collide. We do not want to do that. But those harvesters will finish him off much quicker. Okay, I don't know what that noise is. There's no pause in this game, so I can't really do much about it. He's gone. He didn't leave a big heap of money like the other one did. Okay, take off those harvesters. Oh my gosh. Oh, this guy's tough too, but I'm, you know, this guy's a ton of shield, but 
Oh, uh, actually, he did leave a fair amount of money. Let's just uh, go take that. You know, this is a grab and go battle. This is like take out battle fodder. Yeah. Okay. Shoot the wreckage instead of me. So these little cruisers, they've got massive uh, shielding on. But I'm guessing it, the thing's probably almost all shield generator. Because it's not a very big ship, and it's really pack and shield. Same firepower, 164.4. So same firepower as the destroyer, I guess? That's interesting. These are some cool looking ships that are moving in on us here. Okay, we got him opened up. Uh, actually, he's got a lot of hull strength too, so we're going to use the harvesting lasers on him. Just tear him apart, basically. Yeah, and that's exactly what is happening to him, is we are tearing him apart. The graphics haven't caught up, but those harvesters are deep inside his hull. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, he's still taking it. He's just sitting there and taking it, like the Heart of Gold, or whatever it was called in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. He's just sitting there and soaking up the full fire of this Vogon cruiser here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch off my harvester soon. Why won't this guy die, dude? Oh, I didn't have my gun centered properly. Okay, I'm gonna switch off my harvesters. I'm gonna do a bit of pickup here. We can sneak in and do it. Let's get some of that stuff. Got 9,000 gold right there. That guy. Wow, they are crazy strong. Uh, we've lost one point off our shield. We're doing okay. But yeah, these guys are really sturdy. It's a bit of a slugfest here. I'm glad they're not moving quickly. You know? We're going to go ahead and get those harvesters on again. They haven't really had... Oh, they have had time to cool down, actually. You can see their heat or their drain level climb. They draw more and more energy as they go up. You can see their drain level climb on the bars at the bottom here. And when they hit red, they start super draining the generator in a kind of a logarithmic curve, basically. A certain amount per second, per second, per second kind of thing. Rises. But, we have pretty major generator power, so we're going to keep on using them to defeat these larger ships. And I guess having six civilian turrets won't hurt that way at all. But well, we've made a fair amount of cash out of this battle so far. We're just going to try and grab a little more of that good stuff there, even though we're really tight for space. I could slip through without a collision, probably. Just like that. A bit and uh, re establish ourselves. Why are those two fighting each other? Oh, they're fighting me, they just don't have very good aim. Boy, there's someone above us, too. The autocannons have discovered them. This is a dreadnought, it has less shield. Firepower is higher at 226.5 Omicrons. Okay, we're bringing the harvesting lasers in on it basically. We're going to attempt to rip it apart. It has quite a lot of hull. Uh, maybe I should be centering that? I don't really know. Yeah, I seem to get more explosions if I do. The uh, graphics are a little treacherous in terms of where to fire, eh? Well, we'll do what we can do. That thing's pretty tough. Okay, he's gone and he released some huge money clusters. I love those giant credit bundles. They're just nice. And some very large nanite bundles too. So these guys are only nanite level heavy fleet. You know, when I fight a Xanion level heavy fleet, it's going to be worse. I was kind of hoping they'd release some fighters on me because I've had fighters released on me before in the game. And that's what I really got the autocannons for is uh, take care of them pesky fighters. Because they are hard to hit. Okay, we're going to do a little pickup run right through here. Just go ahead, because I think we're getting close to done with these toads. Everything's grist for the mill, man. Might help us breed up a turret mod, might help us do something. Look at this wreckage. Oh, somebody just went down. The auto gunners had their day. So we got all weapons free for you. Oops, I better turn off my harvesting lasers now. It's a mere cruiser. 
know the fun will soon be over with this one. And it's released a good amount of stuff, and I think we've killed them all, folks. I think we've killed them all. That was pretty intense. There may be quite a bit of extra fan noise in some of these episodes of Kingdoms and of Aura. No, there's still someone left. Because I've got an extractor fan running in the bathroom next to me to try to uh, reduce the terrible heat buildup in the office that happens from gaming. It's really something. And I think that's why Kingdoms crashed in the episode it crashed in. Is I was overheated. Oh, there are lots and lots of subspace signals. Careful. Well, I was thinking of leaving this wreckage mining for next episode, but we'll just leave the auto guns on and we'll, we'll grab a little snippet of this really, like, look at that. Thick, delicious wreckage there. Get some trinium going on. Yum, yum. I tell you, this is the way to get resources. Mining is all very well, but once you have a ship that's strong enough to win in combat, then salvaging is where it's at, because you get parts as well as resources, and you can stack a lot of resources if you have a decent amount of salvaging guns. You also have to have a decent amount of salvaging guns. But yeah, you get, you know, you wring the most out of your uh, prey this way. Well, they should show up any time. We've got a couple more mods. Sweet. Well, a turret and a mod, and we didn't even want the mod, but whatever. Let's blow this thing away. They'll show up. Ah, there they are, okay. Turn that off, turn that on. Oh, look, we got another pirate ship left over there. Well, let's kill the pirate first. He's right here. He drove all this way to be with us, so... He drove all this way to be with us, and I don't think it's going to last long for him anyways. We'll let those aliens do their thing. Well, we roast the insides out of this poor cruiser. Rake him from stem to stern. Um, he didn't leave much. Just run in and grab a little bit here. So it's not a complete loss. And then it's an alien fleet. Cool. I like aliens. At least I like blowing them up. Autoguns are getting busy right away for us. Gotta love that with the auto guns. They're so handy. Makes you want to scroll out and watch. Yeah, we can see that happening. I'll stay scrolled out for a bit so we can kind of watch the auto guns. Whoa, I'm having trouble aiming. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's not dead. Now he's dead. Hey, he left stuff. He left good stuff. Let's get up there and get it. Woo! Blam, blam. Somebody has lightning guns. Oh, somebody's right behind us. And they're out of range of my tail gunners and hitting us, too. That's kind of cool. Their aim stinks. That much is for sure. This will probably take us out of their range. Someone else has cannons, too. I like it. I like it all. We're sucking it up. This thing's beast, man. Okay, who are you? You're the closest. We're gonna give you the blast and treatment. The blast and there we go. Uh, he didn't leave anything. Well, I mean, he left one thing. But... Wow, those auto guns, though. Okay, come on, lead the target, lead the target, lead the target, lead it better, lead it better, lead it better. Get all those bullets on there, man. Ah, oh, I suck. I suck. I might as well just slug it out. Okay. Got a paint color. I like paint. Plum. Nice. I wonder what that looks like on the ship. I find a lot of the colors are too light. I like a good thick solid color. And I mean this solar green looks way darker on the palette than it looks on the ship, that's for sure. Who's this guy? Small unknown. He's doing 100 meters a second, so he'll be here quick enough. Um, haven't left anything really nice. Might as well go out and meet the guy halfway. Ooh, plus, he outranges all but our best guns. Pretty impressive there, little guy. Pretty good cannons you've got. Oh, did they fall off? That's okay. It'll all be over soon. Don't worry. There we go. 
And we'll take what little squadry he dropped. Because it's at least worth money. And sometimes a common level gun will actually turn out to be a good gun. It's usually not the case. Usually the higher level guns will be better, but sometimes you get a common level gun that just has fantastic abilities to it. Okay. So back over to the thicker bit of the wreckage. I just want that bit with engines on it, really. The pirates are attacking the sector. What a busy sector. Hey, look, we missed upgrades. Just one? Okay, where's the pirates? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? They gotta be somewhere here. Where do they go? I'm looking all around the edge scan. And I ain't seeing them. There they are. Okay. Let's get through this without hitting anything. They're pretty close by. That's convenient for us. And I'm betting the uh, Glug Glugs pirates are going to give us money for this, too. Wait a minute. Is that the same group as own the place? Check that shipyard. The Uxaligugus. And the... Uxley Goo's are attacking the Uxley Goo's. Well, that shows you how much you can trust pirates. That's for sure. Boy, these are little ships. That one's tough. Look at him suck up damage. Wow. Okay, well, the Hodios just paid us, and we got a 3,000 increase with the Hodios, which means the Hodios probably just sent, head, just sent headhunters here against us. I'm probably gonna guess on that. I think we better get the hell out of here. This sector is too hot to handle. We have a jump route planned. Oh, I did want to just harvest that one hulk with engines on it. And we did miss a thing. Oh, where here's a perfectly nice hulk with engines on it to satisfy my harvesting desires. I'll switch off the auto guns in case the hodios come here. And we'll just blast that apart to satisfy my urge not to waste good wreckage because those big ships sure leave some fine wreckage, don't they? Oh, they do. They do. They leave some tasty wreckage. What can you say about that? Like, those big thick masses. Mm-mm. What's this? It's just a little one. Just one more little bite, eh? Yum. Delicious wreckage. Speaking of delicious, I have some actual food in the place. Rare enough. I mean, I always eat. It's not usually very interesting. And tonight I bought hamburger fixings. I'm gonna make some nice hamburgers. That's gonna be tasty. Yes, it is. Do, do, do. And yes, I prefer the traditional bread burger. I'm not buying hamburger buns. Now, who are these? Oh, uh, it's Headhunters from Hodio. So it is now time to leave, because we're actually trying to get friends with Hodio, so we got to get out of range of their hyperspace blocker, which we just succeeded in doing. So I'm gonna Switch off those harvesting lasers and warp out. Because, yeah, we don't want to fight those guys. All right, and what we're going to do here is we're going to take some distance, because we got ourselves an empty sector. Oh, my God, what's this? Did they just follow us in? No, it's the Nazanol Pirates. Oh, this is not an empty sector. I should not have been hitting the booster like that. Uh, yeah, it's full of probably rocks. Unless it's an empty sector with combat. Well, these guys are in no bloody hurry. God, it just never ends. It just never ends. We're under constant attack. I'm betting there are rocks in this sector. I better watch my step. These are just bandits. This is terrible. Let's actually map further towards the core. Oh, we're approaching the core now. So they ought to be strong bandits. Any friendly signals? Let's do a radar pulse here. No, just unknown energy, so... Well, let's finish these bandits off and leave it there, because we don't need to have the episode go too long. I can go star hopping a bit in between episodes. Got that lovely hammering noise from that big auto gun. And that's we have an Oganite independent chain gun. And man, does it ever make a big hammering noise when it goes? It's wonderful. So yeah, they may be stiff bandits, but they're not very strong. And 
there's not much left when the ship's done with them either, so. Bit of like too small, throw it back, you know, we're eating minnows here. We're eating minnows here. The zoot. Now what happens? Oh well, doesn't even bear speculation. These guys are so spread out out here. 20 kilometers away, the lot. Well, we can cover it. Oh, hey, we're shooting at something. It must be close. There it is. Nice. Blow it up. That's... The auto guns are so handy for that. You're about to boost off after something. It's like, no, there's one right here. Oh, he's... Managed to return fire on us a little bit, didn't he? Let's roll to the correct attitude and grab all that junk. You know... It took me a long time in this game to learn how to use the roll properly. You know, to me, at first it didn't seem sensible, I just maneuvered the ship, but it allows you to orient your camera more easily, basically. Oops, we're gonna bypass this guy. I don't wanna bypass him. I don't wanna bypass him. I wanna pay individual attention to each and every bandit. God, he leaves like one upgrade. Whatever it's worth it, grab it. Now, next. Oh, look, there's some like large Zanyan wreckage. So that's what this is. It's not a rock yard. It's a, yeah, it's a wreckage yard. There's some more. So this whole time I've been zipping around, I could have plowed into a hunk of wreckage and destroyed my ship. Smart, eh? Real smart. You gotta be careful in this game, man. When you got collision damage on, you can really get stomped. Yeah, see, roll allows me to get the right attitude to get through there without bumping anything, and it allows me to get that right attitude pretty fast. You just have to be aware of anything that's under your ship, you know, scroll out and look before you roll. So otherwise, if you've got a down hanging bit like I do, you're gonna bash yourself on it. There he is. I think he's the last, so. Then this wreckage yard will be... That wreckage passed right through us, which disturbs me. I was like, oh, I hit it, and it just, like, passed through us. That's very strange. Game's not perfect. Um, yeah, we'll finish these guys off. We'll leave it here, and I'll pop around in this wreckage yard and do a little salvaging, I guess, probably in between episodes. Avorion I do play quite a lot off-screen because it's a slow game. It's a slow and grindy game. The important stuff is few and far between. Right now we're seeking combat constantly. We're looking for trouble all the time because uh, we need money. So switch off the gun, send the gunners on coffee break, and let's take a look at our inventory. Sort it by DPS, damage per second. Let's see if anything really sweet came in. So no overheats. And yeah, I don't know. No, nothing new came in that's really high damage. That's okay. So no new guns of any use came in, but lots of guns for sale. You can also breed guns at the research facility, so you can do that. Like, I could take these salvaging turrets and breed them or something, I don't know. Lots of guns for sale. And lots of parts for sale, because we are not. We don't need a velocity security control. We can do 6.5 kilometers a second, and I haven't seen any ships match that yet. It may be that some do. We could get killed at some point. We'll we'll be careful. There's our eight artifacts. We're working on shield boosters. This one actually has better numbers than our shield booster, but it doesn't have the 25% recharge on depletion, and we're keeping that. So we'll keep breeding for a higher one. We're gonna keep breeding for higher scanner mod, but I have a strong feeling I'm never gonna install it because I won't be able to spare the slot. And we will keep breeding for a better radar upgrade, I guess. Although we frankly don't need one because I think plus seven is the most deep scan you can get and we've got plenty of other radar. We will definitely keep breeding for a better hyperspace upgrade, always looking for one. Energy to shield converters we got no interest in because um, they don't do any better percentages than the actual shield boosters anyway. And there's our CTCS6s, we only need one. And how many MTCSs do we have? Okay, it starts here with one exotic, MTCS5, goes down here to the petties. We got a fair amount built up. I don't think it's quite enough to breed a legendary. When you when you consider that it's you gotta breed the full five to get a guaranteed upgrade. Anything else you're gambling, you might not get an upgrade, so 
You need five to make one, 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 five to make one. By the time you've got five exotics, it represents a lot of grinding, dude. Anyway, we're going to leave it here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we did hire our crew. Let's check them out. They're supercargo right now. So there they are. They're getting $80 an hour for supercargo. Sweet. I mean, the, that's half what the engineers make. Not bad, but they need the credits to spend at the ship cafeteria and stuff, so that's the way it goes. And they're happy. And we will keep one of them as permanent supercargo when we assign our crews. We're going to have one guy that's just like a dude that hangs out on the ship and is like, hey, how's it going? We're going to have one guy that fills that role. Because I think that's cool, just to have one person who's just a passenger who's just like, hey, can I take like a galactic tour on your ship? You know, like I won't eat much awesome. Actually, I figured the way uh, resources work in this game, they obviously can store certain simple things in subspace, just not manufactured articles. So I figure you can get food resources brought into food manufacturing systems on the ship through subspace as well. Just cost credits. Everything just costs credits. That's the, way, that's the way physics works, is if you apply enough credits to physics, you get it to work. That's how physics works. And she pretty in green with her hanger on there. Hope you guys are having a good day, night, whatever time it is where you are, and we will see you all very soon for the next episode. So until that time, bye for now.